My name is Kelsey Ray, and I'm a board-certified neurotherapist and a neurofeedback provider in Nashville, Tennessee. My clinic, Tennessee Neurofeedback, treats all ages ranging from 5 to 90. We specialize in trauma treatment specifically, using neurofeedback and other brain-based therapy modalities. For the past eight months, we've been using the Neuradiant in addition to our neurofeedback sessions and have seen really awesome results with the addition of the neuronic helmet. In the past, we'd used other photobiomodulation devices, so I was a little bit familiar with the technology, but really hadn't learned how to integrate it well. What I found in working with Neuronic was it was easy to take the master class and learn how to talk with clients about the helmet, learn how to build protocols based on their maps and their symptoms, and have found that Neuronic has been supportive in both my education and our client care. Over the course of the first few months of just having that trial helmet, we started to see how easy it was going to be to integrate the helmet. And then also I was using it personally and we were trying it on a few clients. What we noticed is that people felt differently much more quickly with the helmet as opposed to just doing neurofeedback exclusively. I was surprised by how interested clients were in, in using it. Once we kind of understood the science, it became very easy to communicate that with clients. And then pretty quickly, I felt confident being able to say, yeah, we're noticing some great changes and really feel like there is value here. The primary way we've integrated the helmet in our clinic is for clients to do a five or 10 minute session with the helmet right before their neurofeedback session. And primarily we use the preset uh, protocols that the helmet comes with because they really cover all of our bases. On occasion, we'll create a custom protocol if the brain map looks complex or if we wanna do something a little more refine. But for the most part, our clients are using either the continuous wave glow setting to get some extra energy in their brain before the neurofeedback session, or we're using the peace setting to help their brain calm down so that they enter the neurofeedback session in a more relaxed and receptive state. The other way we've integrated the helmet is a rental option. Some of our clients who are interested in having the helmet long term will rent it for a month from us to try it. Almost always they end up buying one for themselves. What's really cool about that is people are typically going to do 40 to 60 neurofeedback sessions with us. But if they buy the helmet, that's continued support for a really long time. We tend to recommend that for people who have any dementia history or history of neurodegeneration in their family as well, just to give them a resource to continue maintaining their brain health even once they're finished with neurofeed. So I think the way the helmet has made the most difference for our clients is in the speed of response time. With neurofeedback, one of the most difficult parts is that it takes 10 or 15 sessions before they feel a difference. When we add the helmet in, it's more like two or three sessions in, clients are saying, oh, I really do notice that this is working. So I think clients find it much easier to stay compliant and keep coming back for sessions because we're asking them to come in two to three times a week for 40 sessions. And that's a huge commitment. Giving clients a way to notice change faster has been really significant. The other cases where I've seen the biggest difference are low power maps. So people who come into our clinic and they're really burned out and their brain doesn't have a lot of energy. And so then we're asking their brain to do a lot of work in a neurofeedback session. And if they already don't have energy, that can be very depleting. But when we use the helmet, their brains are responding much more effectively to the neurofeedback session. So what might have taken us 40 sessions can be accomplished in 20 sessions because there's so much more energy available to their brain during neurofeedback. The successful stories that I'm most excited about are people who have had lifelong insomnia and they've tried so many different things to get them sleeping. I've had clients add the helmet into neurofeedback and also had someone use the helmet without doing neurofeedback to deal with sleep. Hearing them say for the first time they're sleeping or they're able to use less of their sleep medicine or supplements they're taking is really exciting. Another case that I've seen really significant results in is a late stage dementia case. Both the dementia patient and her caretaker have been using the helmet at home. In her case, what we've noticed is significantly higher energy levels. She's at this stage of disease where she's usually waking up about midday and maybe staying awake for five or six hours. What we've noticed with the helmet is it's easier for her to get out of bed. She's awake, she's able to hold conversation and remember new information a little bit better. Of course, it's not reversing the disease, but it's giving her a quality of life that she wasn't achieving even with neurofeedback several times a week. And then probably the best part of this case to me is that her caretaker 
her husband is also using it. And what he's reporting is that his agitation is significantly lower. And so he's able to deal with the difficulties of managing her care with a lot more ease and, and less frustration. I think the main reason I would recommend integrating the helmet to other neurofeedback providers is that it's so incredibly easy to use. For clients, neurofeedback feels really difficult. Sometimes it's super complicated and they don't really understand what's happening during sessions. For me, it took me years of working with it to feel like I really had a good handle on what was going on. And I found the opposite to be the case with the Neuradiant Helmet. The science is really easy to explain and the results are really easy to identify and feel even in the short term. Someone can sit down with the helmet, spend 10 minutes playing games on their phone while they're wearing the helmet and then feel more relaxed after or more focused after. As a provider, that's helped a lot with buy-in and also for aftercare purposes. When people finish neurofeedback, I love saying, hey, you're done here, but if you want extra support to maintain your results, the Neuradiant is a great option. I often recommend that clients buy it if they can. Over the course of the next 10 years, they have this device they can use at home really easily. Um, it gives clients a lot of hope to feel like the progress they've made in nerve feedback isn't going to go away and that they have something they can continue doing. Um, the main thing I love about the Neuradiant is that it's completely non-invasive, it's easy to understand science, and it's something that you can do to support your brain long-term without taking medicine or even supplements or, or really doing anything difficult like changing your diet or exercising every day. It's about the easiest thing you can do to really naturally invest in your brain health long-term. So I think we're at a stage societally where a lot of us are getting very burned out on traditional approaches to mental health. There's a lot of despair and a lot of the interventions feel really expensive and really difficult. The ability to use it long term and to just sit down for five or 10 minutes with a helmet on your head while you're doing things you would already do is pretty amazing given the results that I'm seeing with it. When I first got the Neuradiant, I started using it slowly it was really when I took the master class that I gained the confidence I needed to integrate it into our clinical program. The master class gave me the baseline information I needed to responsibly offer the um, PBM service to our clients. And the other thing I loved about it is that I could give the master class to people on our team and they could also learn within a week all of our clinicians were able to really articulate to clients why the Neuradiant would be helpful. So my favorite module was talking about protocol development using QEEGs. I think that's where I started to understand more of how customizable the helmet was. That's one reason why I like Neuronix product so much more than other PBM devices I've used. There's a really easy um, clinical flow from presenting issues in QEEG all the way through to several weeks of using the helmet adjusting protocols along the way. That's the video that I return to most when I need to brush up on how to think through protocol development for the helmet. I, I found the masterclass really helpful because I didn't have to sell the device to my teammates. I gave them the masterclass and they learned the science and it sold itself. From there, they were able to easily articulate the value of the device to our clients. So I feel like Without the masterclass, it would have felt really difficult to get people on board, both other clinicians and clients, because they haven't heard of photobiomodulation before. But with the information in the masterclass, that transition became smooth. As soon as my teammates had seen the masterclass, they were excited about offering the helmet to our clients. I would definitely recommend the masterclass for several reasons. It's organized so well, it feels like a comprehensive introduction and training when you're trying to learn about photobiomodulation and specifically how to use the Neuradiant device. I found the platform really easy to use. I mostly went for walks and listened to the classes. And I also found that the masterclass gave me just enough information. So sometimes when I do trainings, I get really bogged down. It's more than I can handle. I'm pretty busy with our practice. And so I didn't have a lot of extra time to devote to learning a new modality which is why it took us so many years to actually integrate photobiomodulation. And the masterclass is what made the difference. So they got me the information I needed without giving me too much information and left me in a position to be able to really integrate the new technology and feel confident in doing so.